Hey Connor, it's Bree here with Northland Marketing. I just wanted to quickly go over your website, do an audit here, uh, do an audit of one of your competitors, and show a couple things that you could do to really help with your site. So starting with your site here, see your logo, I think. Um, I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at this. They are quite different, so I'm not actually sure which one is your logo. I'm assuming it's this one. So this one looks quite different. Um, I love that you have all of your services listed right away. That's really important. You can click on each one for more info. And you talk about whether you do commercial and residential. That's awesome. Shrub trimming. Okay. About us. I also really like that you have an about us section here and a picture of you so people know that you're a real person. Um, okay, some reviews. That's good. Some photos. All right. Oh, looks like this maybe is supposed to have something, but it's a bit of a blank spot. Oh, okay. Created with Wix. So for Wix site, it's not bad. It's got a lot of the important parts. Could be updated, but the most important thing that I'm seeing here that's missing is you don't have enough content on here. So Google likes to see about a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage. They have these crawlers, and they go through, they read the content. They try and figure out what services you offer, what areas you serve, etc. The more content that you have on here, the more you're going to look like an expert in their eyes. In addition to this, you want to beat out your competitors. So let's say your competitors had 1,000 words, for example. Then you're going to want to have 1,500 words and so on. Within that content, you want to have keywords, and keywords are things that someone would be searching for. So if someone was searching for a landscaper in C or uh, a landscaper in CT or a property maintenance company in CT, and you had landscaping company CT listed quite a few times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search, and Google's going to be willing to put you higher up at the top for the search results. I don't really see any keywords in your content. So that would be a big thing that we would want to do as well. Now I went ahead and actually did a Google search for Landscaper CT. We can see that this guy is running a Google ad here. And this is called the Map Pack. The top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. The way you can get yourself into these top three here is by one, having a profile. So having this Google business profile. Two, filling it out as much as possible. So name, address, phone number, hours, photos, posts, etc. And three, putting your information into as many relevant directories as possible. And directories are things like Yelp or Yellow Pages, etc. That'll help to really power the profile. If we look at the websites below here, these are called the organics and the same things apply. You want to be on this front page and ideally within the top three so that people find you. Let's take a look at this first company here, CT Landscape. You can see that they actually used a keyword for their company name and their URL, which is a great way to help them rank. So they almost accidentally, well, probably intentionally, but have this keyword throughout their content all over. They've got some nice photos, some testimonials, start a project. They actually don't have a whole lot on this homepage, so let's talk about why they are ranking. This is a paid program I use to research websites called Arifs. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what we're up against. The second thing I wanna go over is UR and DR ratings, as these ratings are really important for where you are in the search results. The higher these numbers are, the higher up you're going to be. Essentially, a UR rating is a trust rating with Google, and a DR rating is a power rating with Google. One of the ways you can raise these numbers is via backlinks. And all a backlink really is, is just a shout out or an endorsement from another website. So if there's another website and I said, hey everyone, go check out ctlandscape.com, the best landscaper ever with a clickable button, that's really all a backlink is. You can actually click on this number, see what backlinks they have and attain them for your site. Lastly and most importantly, I want to talk about the organic keywords. These are the keywords in the content that I was talking about before. For example, landscaping company CT. 
There's approximately 100 people who Google this every month. Landscaping in CT. There's approximately 150 people who Google this. Connecticut landscaping, approximately 60. CT landscaping, approximately 60. Landscaping CT, approximately 20. Like, lots. Look at all these keywords. There's a lot of freaking people that are Googling landscaping in CT. I know that you're not just a landscaping company. You obviously are property maintenance and you do snow and and cleanup and et cetera. But just to see how many people are searching for landscaping companies, this is important because the more people that find your site, the more people that are going to call you, and in turn, the more clients you're going to land. If we take a look at your website's ratings, we can see your UR and DR rating are almost non-existent, which is normal. If you're not working with a marketing company, then that is expected. Um, And if we look at your organic keywords, see that the only things you're really being found for is your name, uh, another business's name, and then a keyword irrelevant to Connecticut. So if you were to follow these steps in one, get 1,500 words on your homepage, two, get the keywords and the content, and three, get some high quality backlinks, you'd be able to really help boost your website. I hope that this was helpful and I look forward to speaking with you more. Have a great day.